Glasgow Film Festival is the film festival run by Glasgow Film Theatre. It's all about the audience and 2017 will be our 13th edition. We started in 2005 with a very small programme and very small audiences and we've now grown to be one of the top three film festivals in the UK thanks to our loyal and fantastically supportive audiences. Modern Families is a fantastic way to engage our really, really cool children and families because we've got great events. Most of them are either free or festival for a fiver. So please take a chance on something that you wouldn't have seen before. We've also got a fantastic pop-up event, which is The Princess Bride, one of the great films, which is 30 years old. I cannot believe that it's 30 years old. Audience Award, 10 films every year are up for the, the prize, the only prize that the festival gives. Um, and they're all either first or second features. So it's an award to recognise new or up and coming talent. And the 10 this year range all across the globe from fiction, drama, documentary. Um, there's a great Dutch documentary called The Chocolate Case, for instance, um, in which a journalist started out trying to find a bar of chocolate that was slave free. There's The Leveling, the Hope Dixon Leach film, Lipstick Under My Burka, which is about four women in India just trying to get slightly more independent control of their lives. Um, and Old Stone, which is one of our Canadian films. It's a Canadian Chinese filmmaker and a real kind of insight into to the kind of bureaucracy and lack of compassion in China. So great kind of spread of films there. The Sound and Vision is the strand of the festival that focuses on film and music. And this year we have a large event taking place at the O2 ABC, which is the premiere of Lost in France, a documentary about chemical underground records. There will be a live performance after that screening by a super group that consists of Alex Capranos, um, Stuart Braithwaite, Emma Pollock and RM Hubbard. We also have UK premieres of Contemporary Colour, which is a concert film with new music by David Byrne, um, St Vincent, and it's a really amazing kaleidoscopic performance. Um, we also have the UK premiere of Kuzo, which is the featured outdoor debut of Stephen Ellison, otherwise known as Flying Lotus. The galas are our fantastic red carpet events here at the Glasgow Film Festival. This year we have Free Fire as one of our red carpet events and we will have Ben Wheatley and Michael Smiley uh, attending with possibly other guests. We also have Mindhorn as well. We've also got Patriot's Day. We've also got a number of other uh, events. Cinemas of Strand is where you'll find all the kind of big hitters, the, the kind of really established directors whose names are well known and a good number of the the films that were real talking points at um, big festivals over the year. So, for instance, that's where you'll find uh, Paul Verhoeven's comeback, Elle. Um, the new Aki Kuris Maki, uh, The Other Side of Hope, comes hot foot from Berlin to Glasgow. Um, and as a follow-up, his first film since La Havre. Um, there is the Lav Diaz film, uh, The Woman Who Left, that won the Golden Lion at Venice last year. Uh, new Francois Ozon, who's always a, a Glasgow favourite. So those kind of really big established directors with some of the year's top films. As always, Frost and the Lion has pushed the boundaries of what traditional cinema is um, and we've got a really wide and varied programme of artist moving image and experimental filmmaking. We have a unique event for Frost and the Lion this year at the Glue Factory which is uh, Le Jeté and David Lynch's factory photographs. Le Jeté is a screening of the brilliant Chris Marker film with a new score and live narration um, which will also feature ambisonic sounds coming through your phones. And then we have two musicians who go under the name of Hexa who have created a new live score to David Lynch's factory photographs um, and we thought where else to do that but the glue factory. But we've partnered with Alchemy Festival of um, Moving Image who have delivered a program called Video Home System which is a really great look at VHS video art. We also have our annual Margaret Tate Award. The award this year went to Kate Davies, so she'll be premiering a new piece of work on Monday the 20th of February in GFT1. And at that award, we will also be announcing the winner of the following year's award. Kate will also be presenting a contextual screening on Thursday of the festival of Margaret Tate's seminal film, Blue Black Permanent. Glasgow Film Festival is known now for its special events um, and these pop-up events really are celebrating the films 
out with a cinema experience. These are not set in cinemas, these are set up in fantastic buildings. So for example, we have The Lost Boys, a secret location. We are doing The Thing at Snow Factor, so come wrapped warmly up because you will be sitting watching a film and it'll be minus five on the ski slopes. It's going to be one of the events of the year. Uh, one of our other special events is we are celebrating the 30th, again another 30th anniversary of Dirty Dancing and we're going to have a great night at Oran Moor, we're going to have dancers, we're going to have the film. It's just going to be a night that even Baby wouldn't forget. The Local Hero Strand is basically the best of British cinema and the best of Scottish cinema. Um, so that's the place, for instance, that you would find the New Thames Davies film, A Quiet Passion, about poet Emily Dickinson where you would find Lady Macbeth, which has got an amazing performance from Florence Pugh, who you might remember from The Falling. A couple of really good Scottish documentaries. There's a documentary on Benny Lynch. Uh, there's the new documentary from David Graham Scott, End of the Game. Um, and there's a couple of anniversaries that we want to celebrate as well. It's, it's 20 years since John Byrne made the film of The Slab Boys, so we're going to show that with him coming along. And there's a 30th anniversary screening of Bill Forsyth's Housekeeping which I think is one of his most fantastic films and has been really difficult to see. I would encourage everybody to come along, choose a film out with your comfort zone, come and see something different and become part of the Glasgow Film Festival family.